Moving on to the next um, category of medicine that's available in the United States to treat uh, opioid use disorder are drugs that are blockers of the opioid receptor. So these are drugs that are called antagonists. They, they, they don't have any activity at the receptor. They don't cause any opioid effects. They attach to the receptor and they block it. So if we're gonna use our key and lock analogy, it's like putting crazy glue in the lock. The key can't get in then. So it just blocks it, you can't get any activity. So, um, you know, there's a few different drugs that are around that do this, but um, the one that is being used in the United States right now is a drug called naltrexone. If you have an antagonist in your system, if you have naltrexone in your system, uh, and you ingest another opioid, it doesn't do anything. And it's not even like buprenorphine. Buprenorphine, like sometimes, if you're, you know, if you're on a relatively, you know, moderate to low dose, it'll be blunted, but you'll still feel the effects. If you're on an adequate dose of naltrexone, there's, you don't feel it at all. The pill form of it has been around for a while, but the pills really have never been shown to work because they don't last that long. If you stop taking them, the next day really you can use again. It actually can put you at some higher risk of overdosing because people on naltrexone lose their opioid tolerance. Um, and uh, that's a that's a, a relative advantage of buprenorphine and methadone is that um, the your tolerance for opioids is maintained. Uh, and so if you do return to using, um, you're not likely to miscalculate how much you're using and and, and overdose. So so the the rapid um, kind of uh, uh, fall off of the effect of naltrexone uh, it, when it's in pill form is 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 a relative disadvantage. So we, I I generally don't um, I don't see that as an equivalent treatment to um, the other options. The other formulation though that's been available for a few years now uh, of of naltrexone is a long acting injection, and this is available. The brand name of it is Vivitrol. It's the only form that's available in the U.S. right now. And what Vivitrol is, is, is a form of naltrexone that is injected um, into the gluteal muscle and once a month. And uh, individual get a steady, pretty steady blood level for the whole month that if any time during that month they were to use opiates, they wouldn't feel the effect at all. Um, and so if someone uh, is getting Vivitrol on a regular schedule, um, their ability to feel intoxication or euphoria from opioids is taken away. One of the advantages of it is that it's not an opioid. Um, and so uh, I think for people who don't like the idea of being on another opioid, this is an option. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, uh, a way of getting an effective medication treatment without taking an opioid. When you stop taking it, there's no withdrawal because it's not um, an opioid. And um, there are no opioid effects when you're taking it. A complexity to it, though, is that um, it's hard to get people who are actively using heroin or oxycodone or some other opioid, or even buprenorphine or methadone. It's hard to go from a state of being on an opioid to being on the blocker, you know, to being on an antagonist. And the reason for that is, is that if you give someone who's actively using um, a blocker, it abruptly changes the, the activity at the receptor and the person goes into withdrawal. So as the analogy earlier with the car, you know, it's like going 100 miles an hour and just slamming on the brakes and you're in instant withdrawal if you, if you, if you take it.